Good morning, you guys. You already know. This is your girl, Donuts and Pizza. And your boy, Carboholics. <laughs> and we're out here at Blue Star Donuts, but they still haven't opened yet. We have yeah. 30 more minutes. We got here 30 minutes earlier, guys. They opened at 7 a.m., 6.30 a.m. on the dot, right in the front doors. We could see the bakers <laughs> getting smell. these donuts out, guys. We could smell the freshly fried donuts. Y'all already know what they say. Early bird gets Get the, the donuts. warm donut or early fitness foodie or early foodie nah, you're gets the food. <laughs> <laughs> guys it's too early for this but yeah y'all already know what they say early foodie gets the warm donut guys let's go One more donut. Hey guys, we are back home and it is time is it time. 8.05 August 13 guys yeah bright and early blue star does open at 7 a.m. and they're only about 30 minutes away now we have a total of how many donuts did we get 22. 22 donuts guys and the total for 22 donuts at blue star was $93 even guys $93 even for 22 donuts at Blue Star, which is not too bad. They actually are pretty big. So let's start with the mimosa ones, which is their signature vanilla cake with sparkling wine. And what was on the top? Uh, candy, candy orange. Candy orange, on guys. The signature vanilla cake. Donut. Yeah, sparkling wine, right? Mimosa, new cake donut, mimosa from Blue Star. Let's see how this is. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Wow. I could taste the the um, the orange on this, like an orange peel. Yeah. It does give you like an orange zest kind of vibe, but to me, it's just like a banging vanilla cake donut with a light orange zest. Mm -hmm. After Very notes light. towards the back, huh? but it's super moist, guys. The donut is damn, it's so good. <laughs> guys, we only have 20 donuts here available. <laughs> we had two, um, we did the plain glaze over there at the shop. So if you guys are following us on Instagram, you guys can see. We're gonna post that up. Like and that plain glaze up. challenge, guys. We've been crushing them all over the don uh, for all over the the donut shops that we've been to. We've been crushing their plain glaze in one bite. I'm, I am gonna start uploading them here because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. I will be uploading them as shorts soon, guys. Soon, soon. Mmm. Wow. Just an, an amazing vanilla cake donut mm. for me. With, like I said, after notes of the orange zest. Next, guys. Lemon curd filled donut mm. with powdered sugar. Show them that one because this one's oozing out. Look at how good that looks. Oh, man. And their powdered wow. sugar, if it's like the one they have on their should olive I, oil one, should I break I, it no, apart it's gonna, a little it's bit? gonna, it's gonna ooze out. Ooh. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, cheers. Cheers. Let's see it, guys. Lemon curd filled. Mmm. 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 I like it. 
I like their powdered sugar, dude. So, like, extremely soft. Look at the donut. It's like moist, huh? Mmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Mm. I was almost gonna get only one of this one. Was it a lemon curd? I, uh, but it's good, huh? Wow, it's good. It's the perfect amount of like, like tang and sweet. And the donut is like so soft. So it's soft. Nice the and... freaking powdered sugar is nice and like moist, huh? <laughs> like it's like if they have it has oil or something. I don't know, guys, but. So damn delicious, so far, so good. We're gonna move on to this next batch and we'll be right back with some more Blue Star Donuts, guys. Mm. <laughs> guys, and I forgot to show you we got a table cover and some napkins of Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, guys. Next batch, we got the strawberry mojito old fashioned, which is fresh strawberry glaze with strawberry puree, rum, and mint on top of their old fashioned signature donut, guys. Let's see how this one is. Strawberry mojito. All right, cheers. Here you go, cause it gets sticky. What happened with this milk? Why is it open? I don't know what you got going on over there. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Damn, this is huge. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's like a strawberry buttermilk glaze for me. Mine has a very light crisp on the on the bottom of the donut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, mine too. I, I did it, guys. Hopefully, you guys can see how it looks so it's crispy. Like got, huh? It's like if I got a fresh uh, strawberry donut out of the oven. Mmm. Hmm. Strawberry donut. A full strawberry donut. A fresh strawberry cake. Oh, you're gonna see how donut out of the out oven. Of the oven. <laughs> wow, yeah, the textures on their donuts. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wow. I'm loving the strawberry glaze. I wish they would double dip this one. <laughs> Just like this is perfectly fine, guys. The strawberry glaze is like popping with flavors. But for me, I wanted a kick butt with that strawberry flavor. Oh, man. Just personal preference. Mmm. Mm. Because I could also see how to some people would be too sweet if it would be double dip. Oh no, it's not never too sweet. <laughs> mm. But it's just enough, it's probably. Yeah, it's perfect. Wow. They don't disappoint. Which one do you want? Oh, that was pretty, huh? Okay. Chocolate glaze. That was perfect. Though. Old fashioned, yeah. Their chocolate old fashioned donut with their signature glaze, guys. And this one, 
Ma. Come on, be the milk, dude. Milk. Why is it open? Your boy was probably gonna serve me some and then you completely forgot halfway through the process and you didn't end up, end up serving me any. <laughs> All right, guys. So, <laughs> they're chocolate old fashioned with their signature glaze. Cheers, V. Mm, I could already taste this one. I think this is my favorite chocolate old fashioned. Look at that, how it breaks apart so easily. Wow. Mmm, yeah. Oh my god. And this one is soy cream, French, French chocolate signature buttermilk cake. Soy cream, French chocolate, guys. So damn delicious. Yeah. Mmm. We used to love that chocolate old fashioned from Krispy Kreme. Oh yeah. After we favorite. tasted this one, the one from Krispy Kreme didn't taste like chocolate no more. <laughs> After this and the cocoa nib, this reminds me of the cocoa nib. Mm. Wow. Mm. And just as all of their old fashioned so far. The light crisp outer layer and super soft inside. Mm. I forgot how good Blue Star was. Somebody was hiding down back, I don't know. How to go back and crush that plain glaze there, guys. Um, you know which one we forgot? The fritter. <clears throat> Wow. Sorry guys, it's just that we got there as soon as before they opened and that was the only thing that was out. Yeah, we almost forgot. left without the freaking old fashioned and the poppy seed. Mm. Cause they told us, oh no, we don't have that one. But they did guys, they just hadn't, they didn't have them ready yet. But anyways, wow, the freaking apple fritter. I'm gonna go warm up this next batch guys and we'll be right back with some more. Blue Star Donuts. Well, she just said that whatever was out there was ready at the moment. Sorry. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Here we go. You get the one that you dropped the lemon curd on. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to get started with the passion fruit. Coconut passion fruit. It's a uh, passion fruit puree glaze with cocoa nibs and a dash of cayenne on their brioche style donut guys that's right brioche style donuts for blue star guys so cheers <laughs> cheers mm. 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 wow and that cayenne is kicking and it's only a dash of cayenne on this Perfect. Mm. Wow. So this soft to the bite. Mm. Mm. And that glaze is bursting with flavor, huh? Mm. Like that passion puree. Passion fruit just smacks you in the face. And then, I can't taste the cocoa nibs, but you get like a, those back notes of like a spice. Like if it's about a kick, but it doesn't. This reminds me of a, a mango with tahini. <laughs> mm. Mm. Pretty good. It didn't even need milk, guys. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Mm. It's bursting with flavors, huh? Wow. They should put that passion fruit glaze on top of their old fashioned. That will be. Oh, their old fashioned is good. Like the style of donut. 
with that since it like it has like a high intense fa flavor profile to it i would definitely definitely go at it with that one next is there which one what is this one called chocolate ganache with almonds is there which is french chocolate right <laughs> french dark yeah. chocolate with marcona salted almonds on the top guys oh you remembered and the glaze is nice and gooey so cheers v wait what i got it i got it girl you got it yeah i know my donuts come on cheers Mm. And this is one of my favorite guys and I forgot the name. Mm. Mm. They're dark chocolate. It's like an amazing ooey gooey experience. <laughs> ooey gooey. Huh. That thing smacks. Only if you're a dark chocolate lover. This one will smack you. Smack your mama. <laughs> mm. I think even if they're like a semi-sweet chocolate lover, they'll like this one. Mmm. If you like salt in your chocolate. Mm. Mm. I like it all. If you like a good Dark chocolate, chocolate donut. Milk chocolate. White chocolate. White chocolate. Strawberry chocolate. Mint chocolate. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. Chocolate and Nas. Mm -hmm. Delicious, but it's so messy, guys. And sticky. But I'll say with this batch, guys, we're gonna go warm up the next batch. And we'll be right back with some more fancy donuts, guys. Brioche style donuts. I think I'm gonna need a wet napkin. All right, guys, we're gonna start with this one because usually we don't even end up tasting this one by this point. This is their sugar and spice, right? Yeah. Cardamom, ginger, and what was it? Um, ginger, spice, cardamom, sugar. That's it. On their signature oh, vanilla cake, it vegan. Was, it was white, white and brown sugar. White and brown sugar. All right, let's see. This it feels so moist. I'll give you the small one because I know you're getting full. Cheers. Fire. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'm not alive. This is one of like the top cinnamon sugars that I've tasted. Cause it's almost towards the end of the batch, and I could still dig it. It almost tastes like those deep fried pinochos my mom makes. Right at the churro. Mm-hmm. Mmm. And it's vegan. What? Tell me that that thing wasn't like super moist inside. Yeah, it was. All right, but next the one. The one from, from Oli Boli was almost like this, baby. Almost, but for some reason I'm actually digging this one. All right, next, next um, donut, guys. This is their blue ber blueberry bourbon basil. Blueberries, bourbon, fresh, fresh basil on top of their signature brioche donut, guys. And we last time we got the cake and the brioche one. This time we only got a brioche each. Plus Hector. Let's, yeah, yeah. I got. I was all over the place this morning. But anyways, guys, let's see how You're it is. You're always all over the place <laughs> this morning. <laughs> bourbon in the morning. Mm. 
Wow. A little hot. Their glaze smacks, dude. It's packing so much flavor. Like it smacked you in the face? Boom. So boom? Like I took a whole swig out of freaking bourbon. <laughs> and the bourbon is very subtle. Like a back note towards the end. If you're not a bourbon drinker, you won't probably even find that bourbon taste. I find what I find is a lot of the basil. Basil. See, that I told him. I find that all the basil, the sweetness of the blueberries that pop, the sweetness pops a lot for me of the blueberries, and then the bourbon towards the back end there. Mm. And their brioche donut. It's like. It dissolves the bite, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, next one. It's the Mexican hot chocolate, guys. You this one's vegan, too. Dark chocolate. Cinnamon it. dust. Cinnamon. cinnamon. Dust of cayenne. On their signature chocolate cake, vegan. You could zoom in, baby. Here it is, guys. <laughs> me, baby. Mexican dark Get chocolate, up. huh? <laughs> Let's see it. Keep it up. Damn, guys, and their their chocolate glaze is like, look at it, it's like gooey, huh? Like, mm -hmm. which one you want? What, what's the difference? Well, you, you always cry when I give you a piece. Because it's cheers. That one's modern. Okay, here. <laughs> it's the same thing, but. No, no. Mmm. It's a high. Like, the freaking chocolate ganache puts this on the top of. I don't know. There's something missing for me. It could just be their vegan cake, uh, chocolate cake donut, even though it has great textures. You didn't make no, nothing sense to me. Oh. I think I just want it sweeter. I hate these freaking napkins, guys, with the signs in them. And we got these at Party City, too. A little baby Yoda on the napkin. You wipe yourself a little baby Yoda all over your damn hands. How, baby? I don't know, look. Wow. Where is baby Yoda in your finger? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ink of the napkin, I think. All right, guys, so I'll say with this batch, we're going to warm up this last batch, and we'll be right back with y'all with some more Blue Star Brioche style and Old Fashioned style donuts, guys. Last batch. Is V going to make it? All right, guys. Powder. Back with the final batch of donuts. Choose your next donut wisely. <sighs> Which one do you want? All right, guys, this How is the orange it? olive oil. It's got olive oil what? Olive oil what? Says, uh, <laughs> no. Olive oil with orange zest and powdered sugar. Like, this thing just looks so good, guys. The freaking texture on their powdered sugar is like moist and thick at the same time. It's, it's hard to explain. House, it's a house-made um, olive oil uh, powder. There you go. There you go. Alright, cheers. Mmm. It's probably my favorite powdered sugar donut. Mmm. Mm. It's because of that oil guys that they that they put. Their powdered sugar or the powder. Yeah, it's powdered sugar, right? Powdered sugar. Made with like olive oil and orange zest. Mm. Hmm. It's like the powder is like extremely thick, soft. Thick, moist powder, huh? Mm. So good. <sighs> 
getting hot, guys. Mm. The body's trying to break down all these damn calories. Mm. Like, how the hell? They give me minimal food all week. Push me to the limit, and then all of a sudden, an explosion of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but that's 18 donuts down so no, 20 donuts down so far. Two more to go for 22, guys. From Blue Star. If you guys have been to Blue Star, you know their brioche are big. Their old fashions that we got a couple of them are big. We got these, we got two of the chocolates, two of the strawberries. Man. Like half old fashioned donuts, cake donuts. Next one, which one you want? Lemon poppy? I can need more milk. Lemon poppy or regular glaze? You could choose the same. I don't know, that's what I was asking. Let's let's go for some lemon poppy. Maybe we need some some to set lemon zest. Lemon poppy glaze on top of their old fashioned donut. I mean look at this guys. Look at how crispy this back layer looks. Looks so fried to perfection. Alright, let's break it down in half, break it down in half, cheers, I think that was too much milk, cheers baby, oh you think so, think it was too much milk? I don't think so, you're gonna down it. There's something that I don't quite dig about their lemon poppy uh -oh. glaze on the old fashioned. Uh oh. Alright. I said this the last time we went to Blue Star. Mm. But it could also be because I'm warming it up. I don't know. It's not bad, guys, but maybe the flavor of the poppy pops too much with this um glaze for me. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'm just full, but I can't do that lemon zest one. Mm. You try? Call it old fashioned. Now let's do the old fashioned regular glaze, guys, because V is getting. Tremendously full. <laughs> Tremendously. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Ah. Nice They're see. monsters. Best friends of Patty yeah, these old fashions. But damn, 22 donuts. But damn, when you once you go in there in the morning with no food. And you see them, and they just look so beautiful. You want to take them all. We took a lot of old fashions, guys. Mm. And you taste it, and you smell it. Oh, yeah. It's like a... And you want to eat it. Like a great glazed buttermilk bar. I like this one better. Push it to the limits. Let me see what you're talking about. I only left a fourth of a piece of the lemon size one. Just because there's something that I'm finding to it that, poppy seed. that I don't like. Like a spice. I don't know guys, I'll set with the donut mug bomb. Oh, I am tremendously full now. So I gotta go walk some of this off. Yeah, I already know. Walk some it some of it off and make some room for the second meal. 22 donuts guys, and most of them cakes and old fashions. Those brioche style donuts are big too. Blue star. Definitely worth it guys. And it is 8.50 a.m. 
August 13. And I'm closing it out, guys, because I don't think V is going to finish that. Are you going to do the old fashioned? No, probably not. <laughs> I knew it, guys. I'm pretty stuffed. So she only left like one donut. So that's, that's perfectly fine. She ate 10 whole donuts. That's amazing, girl. Out of girl. Stop it. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Alright guys. Anyways. J Loke. Shout out to you, J Loke. You've been commenting on the on the YouTubes and you've been tagging us all over Instagram, guys. Don't forget, make sure y'all tag us on Instagram, guys. If you're out there checking out these donut shops, make sure you tag us. Let us let them know too. You're there because the carboholic fam put them. Uh, nah, I'm just putting just, you know, tag us that you're at the donut shop, guys. <laughs> we want to know if you guys are actually visiting these know. donut shops and what you think about them. But anyways, thank you one, <laughs> thank you one so much again, guys, for making it this far. I'm going to go take a walk. Your boy is all over the place. Oh, this sugar rush is just getting to him. He's you're like, he has a lot of energy. Him. And it's going to be, and then, you know how it happens with sugar. So we're going to go walk it off before that happens real quick. See you for the second meal. Peace. She slobbered the whole thing. Alright guys, we are all back with the second meal. We went to Birreria San Marcos right here at our by our house. It is 626 August 13 still. We'll put their Instagram down here. Yeah, and it was 32, 32 32.31. We got two queso tacos, one vampiro, one taco regular, and one quesadilla with a side of a small consomme, guys. 32.31. Not that bad for all this delicious food. So, what do you want to start with? Let's start with the with the most plain thing, with the tacos, uh, right? Tacos? Yeah. Oh, it's only... Oh. Oh, there's like two, two, two tacos. queso tacos, which are these like one, one vampiro, taco? one taco regular. And what is this? These are the two queso tacos. Oh, so over here, let's start with over there. So let's cover these guys, and we're gonna show you the, the regular taco and the vampiro. Right okay, right here, and then this one. Here's the vampiro, the, one, the with one with the cheese. the cheese. Let's start oh. with the regular taco. And you can put whatever. Now, what should we put on the regular taco? This I said onions. Here, look, take this off. Here, aquí the onions with the... No, nah, I want these. That's the not onions. onions. and lemon. <laughs> yeah, and lemon. Yeah, but it has some. Um, this has... The... Oh, okay, okay, then put that one. We'll go with B's idea, but I thought these would have been better. Put that too. No, 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 no. We'll put a little bit in each. And then we'll get some lemons, guys. Lemons. We got some radishes on deck. If you want them. I'll get some lemon on there. Some lemon. Oh, yeah. And then some green salsa. Some green salsa. Some green or lemon or or red salsa. We'll get some green on this. Half and half. Half for me, half for V. I'll do the honors, guys. Half See on this prepared looking. taco. Should you squish the lemon in front of it? Mm. Let's see it. Oh, you know what? Could have dipped it on the salsa, baby. The consomme is for that. Mm -mm. You're opening it for me? I want some wood consomme. That's mm. why I went here. Guys, mm. this is the business right here. Oh, look at that. All that juice. Guys, and I tasted it with the alta consomme, and it was delicious. Let me taste it with the consomme. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
Mm. Let's taste the, what is it called? Vampiro? Yeah. I'm gonna take out one tortilla, guys. There's one tortilla there. But it fell out right off. Let's taste it with the consomme. Oh, because this is the... Yeah, the cheese. The cheese. Let's taste it with the consomme. Supposed to do this. Mmm. Sunset. Mmm. I'm gonna put some salsa, guys. I like it with salsa. Fire. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, with that, it was amazing. Mmm. Huh. Mmm. That was good. With that going from there, huh? It's a game changer. So just, just remove this. Next batch. Batch. Here's the uh, vampiros, right? We got two vampiros? Yeah. Vampiros, oh, which are... Vampiros. I don't even know. Or queso tacos? which are birria tacos with cheese in them, on guys. A, on a toasted tortilla. Oh. All right. Oh. I'm going to put the onions and it's that one were in lemon. Oh, I want some onion, too. Porza. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was going to pour some on you? Yeah. You said, no, not those with the first one. Well, because I like cilantro, guys. Green salsa, guys. I'm into a lot of stuff. Even green salsa. Let's do it. Put Some it lemon. Ooh. Some lemon. Delicious. Let's see. Fourth of a lemon, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see. Some of this. Let's see. Mmm. Look. Look at this, guys. Ooh. <laughs> With the Ridiculous. Nice. Mmm. Guys. And I gotta compare this video with my mama's because my mama's is good. That's not on Instagram. <laughs> That's a family recipe. Gotta compare this birria. Mm. I think it was delicious. Comparing it to my mama's, it came close, but not bam. But the uniqueness of the tacos, how they set them up and everything has got me with the consomme. I could say that much. Let's move on to their next item, guys. Before their next item, I'm gonna cleanse the palate. Or some diet of the pepper. Look at this, guys. Uh. Okay, so birria. Right here, like this. Oh, that looks delicious, guys. Come on. Like a quesadilla with a crunchy flour. Birria taco. Cheers, babe. Let's see how this is. With the consomme. 
Let's see. Just like that. Just like that. When I move, you Jeez. move. Onions, yeah. I need onions. For me, at least, guys. I see with the green salsa. Oh, so man. Yeah, it just makes it better and better. Queso tacos, video tacos. Well, it was. Queso, what is it? Quesadilla, quesadilla. And what are the vampiros? What do you give Viria San Marcos out of 10? What do you rate it? I rate it a 9. <sighs> a 9. I will rate it an 8 or 8.5. I just have to say that. It needs like lemon. It needs cool. the condiments for it. And well, you need yeah. to get the consomme with it. Yeah. All in all. Great. Great spot to hit up, guys. Mm. All in all, if I need birria, I will go to this one. Yeah. That is like two minutes from a house. Yeah. I mm. still have to compare it with my mom's. Yeah. If she even wants to make me some. Let's save it for the holidays, guys. <laughs> Let's see. That's right. Holidays come. My mom, her mom starts cooking it up in the kitchen, guys. Woo! Let us know down in the comments if y'all want to see some home cooked meals from my mamas. <laughs> They get down. They both have mm. unique um, meals. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. Virgilia San Marcos. Recipes. Get a pass. I would definitely go like we said. If I needed some video. Mm-hmm. And if you want more consomme than this, they they have bigger sizes too, and they have more uh, selections. But for what we got it with the small size, was it good? Yeah, nice. this was good enough. I bet our moms would still use that sauce. They won't let us throw it away. <laughs> but. That's it for so today, guys. Baby, that's not Marcos. Thumbs up for me. What to get from you, B? Thumbs up. Thumbs where? Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for making it this far. If you made it this far, make sure that you guys are following us on my Instagram. I'm gonna link my account down here. And mine account. And B's here. account down there. And we're gonna actually have the Instagram of San Marcos on our description maybe when well, we put up the video but we'll for sure so you guys it. follow them so you guys follow they got them a couple and locations them and let us know what you guys think yeah you know um thank you so much don't forget to like comment share subscribe oh wait, wait, wait. before we go time time, time Wallace <laughs> 642 p.m. August 13th. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a back at your boy. And your girl. For the next video. Peace. Peace. I'm on both most of them. You just blur it all that shit out, I'm on both most of that, babe. I mean. All that out. You blurred out all that. <laughs> but we gonna let it rolling for y'all, guys. This is how real we are.
We no, did. No, 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 Just get some alcoholic beverages. Beverages, I'm so delicious. So we'll see you back for the next cheat day video. Peace. Peace.